A cruise missile is a guided missile used against terrestrial targets, that remains in the atmosphere and flies the major portion of its flight path at approximately constant speed. Cruise missiles are designed to deliver a large warhead over long distances with high precision. Modern cruise missiles are capable of traveling at supersonic or high subsonic speeds, are self-navigating, and are able to fly on a non-ballistic, extremely low-altitude trajectory. History The idea of an aerial torpedo was shown in the British 1909 film The Airship Destroyer, where flying torpedoes controlled wirelessly are used to bring down airships bombing London. In 1916, American aviator Lawrence Sperry built and patented an aerial torpedo. The Hewitt Sperry automatic airplane, a small biplane carrying a TNT charge, a Sperry autopilot and a barometric altitude control. Inspired by these experiments, the United States Army developed a similar flying bomb called the Kettering Bug. Germany had also flown trials with remote-controlled aerial gliders torpedo glider, built by Siemens Schuckert beginning in 1916. In the period between the World Wars the UK developed the Larynx long-range gun with Lynx engine, which underwent a few flight tests in the 1920s. In the Soviet Union, Sergei Korolyov headed the GIRD-06 cruise missile project from 1932 to 1939, which used a rocket-powered boost glide bomb design. The 06-3 RP-216 and 06-IV RP-212 contained gyroscopic guidance systems. The vehicle was designed to boost to 28 km altitude and glide a distance of 280 km, but test flights in 1934 and 1936 only reached an altitude of 500 m. In 1944, Germany deployed the first operational cruise missiles in World War II. The V-1, often called a flying bomb, contained a gyroscope guidance system and was propelled by a simple pulse jet engine, the sound of which gave it the nickname of buzz bomb or doodlebug. Accuracy was sufficient only for use against very large targets the general area of a city, while the range of 250 km was significantly lower than that of a bomber carrying the same payload. The main advantages were speed although not sufficient to outperform contemporary propeller-driven interceptors and expendability. The production cost of a V-1 was only a small fraction of that of a V-2 supersonic ballistic missile, carrying a similar-sized warhead. Unlike the V-2, however, the initial deployments of the V-1 required stationary launch ramps which were susceptible to bombardment. Nazi Germany, in 1943, also developed the Mistel Composite Aircraft Program, which can be seen as a rudimentary air-launched cruise missile, where a piloted fighter-type aircraft was mounted atop an unpiloted bomber-sized aircraft that was packed with explosives to be released while approaching the target. Bomber-launched variants of the V-1 saw limited operational service near the end of the war, with the pioneering V-1's design reverse engineered by the Americans as the Republic 4 JB-2 cruise missile. Immediately after the war the United States Air Force had 21 different guided missile projects, including would-be cruise missiles. All but four were cancelled by 1948. The Air Materiel Command Banshee, the SM-62 Snark, the SM-64 Navajo, and the MGM-1 Matador. The Banshee design was similar to Operation Aphrodite. Like Aphrodite, it failed, and was cancelled in April 1949. Concurrently, the U.S. Navy's Operation, Bumblebee, was conducted at Topsail Island, North Carolina, from c. 1 June 1946, to 28 July 1948. Operation, Bumblebee produced proof-of-concept technologies that influenced the U.S. military's other missile projects. During the Cold War period both the United States and the Soviet Union experimented further with the concept, deploying early cruise missiles from land, submarines and aircraft. The main outcome of the United States Navy submarine missile project was the SSM N-8 Regulus missile, based upon the V-1. The United States Air Force's first operational surface-to-surface -surface missile was the winged, mobile, nuclear-capable MGM-1 Matador, also similar in concept to the V-1. 
Deployment overseas began in 1954, first to West Germany and later to the Republic of China Taiwan and South Korea. On 7 November 1956, U.S. Air Force deployed Matador units in West Germany, whose missiles were capable of striking targets in the Warsaw Pact, from their fixed day-to-day -day sites to unannounced dispersed launch locations. This alert was in response to the crisis posed by the Soviet attack on Hungary which suppressed the Hungarian Revolution of 1956. Between 1957 and 1961 the United States followed an ambitious and well-funded program to develop a nuclear-powered cruise missile, supersonic low-altitude missile SLAM. It was designed to fly below the enemy's radar at speeds above Mach 3 and carry a number of hydrogen bombs that it would drop along its path over enemy territory. Although the concept was proven sound and the 500-megawatt engine finished a successful test run in 1961, no airworthy device was ever completed. The project was finally abandoned in favor of ICBM development. While ballistic missiles were the preferred weapons for land targets, heavy nuclear and conventional weapon-tipped cruise missiles were seen by the USSR as a primary weapon to destroy United States naval carrier battle groups. Large submarines for example, Echo and Oscar classes were developed to carry these weapons and shadow United States battle groups at sea, and large bombers for example, Backfire, Bear, and Blackjack models were equipped with the weapons in their air-launched cruise missile ALCM configuration. <laughs> General design Cruise missiles generally consist of a guidance system, payload, an aircraft propulsion system, housed in an airframe with small wings and impenage for flight control. Payloads usually consist of a conventional warhead or a nuclear warhead. Cruise missiles tend to be propelled by a jet engine, turbofan engines being preferred due to their greater efficiency at low altitude and subsonic speed. Topic. Guidance systems Guidance systems also vary greatly. Low-cost systems use a radar altimeter, barometric altimeter and clock to navigate a digital strip map. More advanced systems use inertial guidance, satellite guidance and terrain contour matching Use of an automatic target recognition ATR algorithm, device in the guidance system increases accuracy of the missile. The standoff land attack missile features an ATR unit from General Electric. Categories Cruise missiles can be categorized by size, speed subsonic or supersonic, and range, and whether launched from land, air, surface ship, or submarine. Often versions of the same missile are produced for different launch platforms, sometimes air and submarine launched versions are a little lighter and smaller than land and ship launched versions. Guidance systems can vary across missiles. Some missiles can be fitted with any of a variety of navigation systems inertial navigation, TERCOM, or satellite navigation. Larger cruise missiles can carry either a conventional or a nuclear warhead, while smaller ones carry only conventional warheads. <laughs> Hypersonic A hypersonic speed cruise missile would travel at least five times the speed of sound Mach 5. 3 M22 Zircon hypersonic anti-ship cruise missile. BrahMos 2, approximately equals 600 to 800 kilometers, is a hypersonic missile currently under development in India and Russia. High-speed strike weapon missile based on Boeing X-51. KH-90 3,000 to 4,000 km, is a hypersonic air-to-surface cruise missile developed in 1990 by the USSR and later by Russia. This missile was designed to cruise from Mach 4 to Mach 6, eventually being able to travel at speeds lower than Mach 10 to 15. DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle mounted on a DF-17. Topic. 
supersonic These missiles travel faster than the speed of sound, usually using ramjet engines. The range is typically 100 to 500 kilometers, but can be greater. Guidance systems vary. Examples: 3M54 caliber up to 4500 kilometers, Russia, the Sizzler variant is capable of supersonic speed at the terminal stage only. 3M51 Alpha 250 km KH15 300 km AGM69 SRAM 200 km United States Airsol Moyen Porte 300 to 500 km plus France Supersonic standoff nuclear missile BrahMos, India, Russia, fastest supersonic cruise missile and the only one to complete the tactical cruise missile triad C-101 China C-301 China C-803 China — supersonic terminal stage only C-805 China CVS-401 Perseus 300 km, United Kingdom, France under development — stealth supersonic cruise missile Xiong Feng-3 Taiwan KD-88 China KH-20 380-600 km USSR KH-31 25-110 km Russia KH-32 600-1000 km Russia KH-61 USSR Russia KH-80 3000-5000 km P270 Moskit 120 to 250 kilometers USSR Russia P500 Basalt 550 kilometers USSR Russia P700 Granite 625 kilometers USSR Russia P800 Onyx 600 kilometers Russia P1000 Vulcan 800 kilometers USSR Russia SSMN-9 Regulus II 1852 km United States YJ-12 250 to 400 km China YJ-18 220 to 540 km China YJ-91 China Yunfeng Taiwan Topic Intercontinental Range Supersonic 9M730 Obervestnik greater than 7 to 9000 kilometers Russia Burya 8500 kilometers USSR MKR missile 8000 kilometers USSR RSS40 Buran 8500 USSR SLAM 182000 kilometers United States SM62 Snark 10200 kilometers United States SM64 Navajo 6500 kilometers United States Topic Long Range Subsonic The United States, Russia, India, United Kingdom, Iran, South Korea, Turkey, Israel, China and Pakistan have developed several long-range subsonic cruise missiles. These missiles have a range of over 1,000 km miles and fly at about 800 km per hour, 500 miles per hour. They typically have a launch weight of about 1,500 kg 3, and can carry either a conventional or a nuclear warhead. Earlier versions of these missiles used inertial navigation, later versions use much more accurate TERCOM and DSMAC systems. Most recent versions can use satellite navigation. Examples 3M54 caliber up TP 4500 kilometers Russia AGM 86B United States AGM 129 ACM United States BGM 109 Tomahawk up 1700 kilometers United States United Kingdom B 
BGM 109G ground launched cruise missile 2,500 km, DF 10, CJ 10 China, Hunmu 3 South Korea, Hunmu IIIA 500 km, Hunmu IIIB 1,000 km, Hunmu IIIC 1,500 km. KH-55 3000 km and KH-65 Russia KH-101 4500 to 5500 km Russia RK-55 3000 km Soviet Union Nearby India approximately equals 1000 km Meshkat Iran range 2000 km Sumar missile Iran range allegedly 2000 to 3000 kilometers Hoviza cruise missile Iran range 1350 kilometers Kuds 1 Houthi MGM 13 Mace United States Popeye Turbo SLCM Israel Xiang Feng EE Taiwan Topic medium range subsonic These missiles are about the same size and weight and fly at similar speeds to the above category. Guidance systems vary. Examples Storm Shadow, Scalp 560 km, UK, France, Italy Taurus KEPD 350 500 plus km, Germany, Sweden, Spain Babur Pakistan 700 km, KH-50 KHSD and KH-101 KH-65 variants Russia P-5 Pyotyorka 450 to 750 km Russia North Korea Rod Iran 360 km Ya Ali missile 700 km Iran Riyadh ALCM 350 km Pakistan HYUNM003 within 1500 km South Korea KD63 China SOM missile SOM B block I Turkey 350 km range under serial production 500 km plus range under development 500 km 1500 km and 2500 km versions AGM 158 Jasm 370 to 1000 km United States AGM 158 CLRASM USA 370 km plus minus 560 km plus United States MGM 1 Matador 700 km United States SSM N8 Regulus 926 km United States Topic: Short range subsonic. These are subsonic missiles which weigh around 500 kilograms (1,102 pounds) and have a range of up to 300 kilometers (190 miles). Examples: Apache 100 to 140 kilometers (France), AVMT 300 (300 kilometers) Brazil. MICLABR 300 km Brazil C801 40 km China C802 120 km to 280 km China C803 China C805 China C602 China CM602G China Delilah missile 250 km Israel Gabriel IV 200 km Israel HYUNM003 over 300500 km shorter range South Korea SSM700K Hisung 180 plus km South Korea KH35 300 km Russia KN19K's 3 quarters North Korea KH59 115 to 285 kilometers Russia P15 80 kilometers Russia KN1 North Korea Silkworm KN1 China Nasser 1 Iran Zafar 25 kilometers Iran 
Nor Iran, Kater Iran, Naval Strike Missile, 185 kilometers to 555 kilometers, Norway. Korshin a locally derivative of KH-55 and RK-55, made by Artem Luchvazar ZHMZ, KAZ, Yuzhno Pivdenmash, powered by an AI Progress Motor Sich MS-400 like Neptune missile and same builder's designer. Neptune Ukraine Otomat 180 km, France, Italy V-1 Flying Bomb 250 km, Nazi Germany Xiong Feng 2 Taiwan, Wan Qian Taiwan, Popeye Turbo ALCM 78 km Israel, RBS 15 Sweden, RGM 84 Harpoon 124 km United States, AGM 84E Standoff Land Attack Missile 110 km United States. AGM 84H K Slammer 270 km United States Silkworm 100 to 500 km China Som missile Turkey Topic Deployment The most common mission for cruise missiles is to attack relatively high-value targets such as ships, command bunkers, bridges and dams. Modern guidance systems permit accurate attacks. As of 2001 the BGM-109 Tomahawk missile model has become a significant part of the United States naval arsenal. It gives ships and submarines an extremely accurate, long-range, conventional land attack weapon. Each costs about 1.99 million United States dollars. Both the Tomahawk and the AGM-86 were used extensively during Operation Desert Storm. On the 7th of April 2017, during the Syrian civil war, US warships fired more than 50 cruise missiles into a Syrian airbase in retaliation for a Syrian sarin gas attack against a rebel stronghold. The United States Air Force, USAF, deploys an air-launched cruise missile, the AGM-86 ALCM. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is the exclusive delivery vehicle for the AGM-86 and AGM-129 ACM. Both missile types are configurable for either conventional or nuclear warheads. The USAF adopted the AGM-86 for its bomber fleet while AGM-109 was adapted to launch from trucks and ships and adopted by the USAF and Navy. The truck launched versions, and also the Pershing II and SS-20 intermediate range ballistic missiles, were later destroyed under the bilateral INF Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty with the USSR. The British Royal Navy RN also operates cruise missiles, specifically the US-made Tomahawk, used by the RN's nuclear submarine fleet. UK conventional warhead versions were first fired in combat by the RN in 1999. During the Kosovo War, the United States fired cruise missiles in 1991. The Royal Air Force uses the Storm Shadow cruise missile on its Tornado GR 4 aircraft. It is also used by France, where it is known as Scalp EG, and carried by the Armée de l'Air's Mirage 2000 and Rafale aircraft. India and Russia have jointly developed the supersonic cruise missile BrahMos. There are three versions of the BrahMos, ship, land-launched, air-launched and sub-launched. The ship, land-launched version were operational as of late 2007. The BrahMos has the capability to attack targets on land. Russia also continues to operate other cruise missiles, the SSN-12 Sandbox, SSN-19 Shipwreck, SSN-22 Sunburn and SSN-25 Switchblade. Germany and Spain operate the Taurus missile while Pakistan has made the Babur missile, a variant of the U.S. Tomahawk missile. Both the People's Republic of China and the Republic of China Taiwan have designed several cruise missile variants, such as the well-known C-802, some of which are capable of carrying biological, chemical, nuclear, and conventional warheads. <laughs> <laughs> nuclear warhead versions China 
China has CJ-10 land attack cruise missile which is capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. Topic: France. The French Force de Frappe nuclear forces include both land and sea-based bombers with Air Sol Moyenne Portée high-speed medium-range nuclear cruise missiles. Two models are in use, ASMP and a newer ASMPA. Approximately 60 nuclear missiles are in service, 50 land-based and 10 sea-based. India India in 2017 successfully flight tested its indigenous Nirbay fearless land attack cruise missile, which can deliver nuclear warheads to a strike range of 1,000 km. Nirbay had been flight tested unsuccessfully and repeatedly since 2013, leading to concerns that the project would be cancelled. Israel The Israel Defense Forces reportedly deploy the medium-range air-launched Popeye Turbo ALCM and the Popeye Turbo SLCM medium-long-range cruise missile with nuclear warheads on Dolphin-class submarines. Pakistan Pakistan currently has four cruise missile systems, the air-launched Riyadh, the ground and underwater-launched Babur, ship-launched Harba missile and surface-launched Zarb missile. Both, Riyadh and Babur, can carry nuclear warheads between 10 and 25 knots, and deliver them to targets at a range of 350 km 220 miles and 700 km 430 miles respectively. Babur has been in service with the Pakistan Army since 2010. Topic: <inaudible> Russia. Russia has KH-55SM cruise missiles with similar to United States AGM-129 range of 3000 kilometers but are able to carry a more powerful warhead of 200 knots. They are equipped with a TERCOM system which allows them to cruise at an altitude lower than 110 meters at subsonic speeds while obtaining a SEP accuracy of 15 meters with an inertial navigation system. They are air-launched from either Tupolev Tu-95s, Tupolev Tu-22 megaseconds, or Tupolev Tu-160s, each able to carry 16 for the Tu-95, 12 for the Tu-160, and 4 for the Tu-22M. A stealth version of the missile, the KH-101 is in development. It has similar qualities as the KH-55, except that its range has been extended to 5,000 km, equipped with a 1,000 kg conventional warhead, and has stealth features which reduces its probability of intercept. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, the Soviet Union was attempting to develop cruise missiles. In this short time frame, the Soviet Union was working on nearly 10 different types of cruise missiles. However, due to resources, most of the initial types of cruise missiles developed by the Soviet Union were sea-launched cruise missiles or submarine-launched cruise missiles SLCMs. The SSN-1 cruise missile was developed to have different configurations to be fired from a submarine or a ship. However, as the time progressed, the Soviet Union began to work on air-launched cruise missiles as well ALCM. These ACLM missiles were typically delivered via bombers designated as blinders or backfire. The missiles in this configuration were called the AS-1, and AS-2 with eventual new variants with more development time. The main purpose of Soviet-based cruise missiles was to have defense and offensive mechanisms against enemy ships, in other words most of the Soviet cruise missiles were anti-ship missiles. The 1980s the Soviet Union had developed an arsenal of cruise missiles nearing 600 platforms which consisted of land, sea, and air delivery systems. United States. The United States has deployed four nuclear cruise missiles at one time or another. SSM-N8 Regulus submarine-launched missile, out of service 
AGM-86 ALCM Air launched cruise missile, 350 to 550 missiles and W-80 warheads still in service. BGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missile in nuclear submarine, surface ship, and ground launched models, nuclear models out of service but warheads kept in reserve. AGM-129 ACM advanced cruise missile, out of service. Topic. Efficiency in modern warfare Currently cruise missiles are among the most expensive of single-use weapons, up to several million dollars apiece. One consequence of this is that its users face difficult choices in target allocation, to avoid expending the missiles on targets of low value. For instance, during the 2001 strikes on Afghanistan the United States attacked targets of very low monetary value with cruise missiles, which led many to question the efficiency of the weapon. However, proponents of the cruise missile counter that the same argument applies to other types of UAVs, they are cheaper than human pilots when total training and infrastructure costs are taken into account, not to mention the risk of loss of personnel. As demonstrated in Libya in 2011 and prior conflicts, cruise missiles are much more difficult to detect and intercept than other aerial assets reduced radar cross-section, infrared and visual signature due to smaller size, suiting them to attacks against static air defense systems. See also Affordable weapon system Cruise missile submarine Eugene VA pioneer of technology that led to the cruise missile Expendable launch system List of cruise missiles List of rocket aircraft Lists of weapons Low-cost miniature cruise missile NATO reporting name has lists of various Soviet missiles Weapon of mass destruction <laughs>